Using Google Ads location extensions can help make your ads more relevant, uh, increase the size of your ads, which will improve your click-through rates, ultimately just help you get better results from your Google Ads. If you're not already familiar with Google Ads location extensions, they look kind of like this, where it gives some information about the location itself, usually the hours of operation, whether the company is open or not. So you can see it's got it on all three of these actually. And it's going to vary from industry to industry, but something like an oil change, Google knows you need to go to a specific location, get your car in and get the oil changed. So it's going to favor adding a location extension on these types of ads. However, if you're advertising something like, um, you know, keto diet plan or something like that, you know, people aren't going to show up to a location for something like that typically. So adding a location extension may not, may not do anything. So just because you add a location extension doesn't mean it's going to show up every time somebody does a search and your ads appear in the search results. Now, that being said, it's pretty straightforward to add your location extension in here. First of all, you need to have a Google business profile set up. So like this is Jiffy Lubes right here. And then you can see Jiffy Lube right here. This is their Google business profile. So if we were to click on this, it would essentially take us to this listing right here where we can see their reviews, hours of operation, all sorts of different information about their business. So the reason why I say this is because if you don't have a Google business profile set up for your business already, then you're not really going to be able to add a location extension because it's really just connecting the two together. So let's take a look at how to do that. If you're in your Google ads account, granted, this is the new user experience. You can switch between the old and the new design here. Um, but once you're in your Google ads account on the left hand side, you should see under campaigns, there's an assets option here. If you click the little drop down, you can click on assets. Now we call them location extensions, but Google switched the name around. So now they're called location assets, but so many people call them extensions still that we'll just call them extensions for the time being. <laughs> but once you're here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different options up at the top. I've just selected the location option here which filters down so that we're just seeing the location extension information down here. And we'll be able to see some data related to how this extension is performing as well. You can see how many conversions it's delivering. Uh, granted, with, these, with this data here, it's not necessarily an indication of how the extension itself is performing. Because like this one right here, the location extension is showing up, but there's nothing we can even click on in the location extension. So there's no way for this to generate a click or a conversion or anything like that. But we'll still see this data. And so this data, ultimately what it indicates is how the performance of the ad or how the ad is performing when the extension is showing up with the ad. So this doesn't necessarily mean that the extension got 772 clicks. It just means that the ad got 772 clicks when the extension showed up on the ad. So the extension showed up 49,000 times and of those times it showed up, it got the ad itself got 772 clicks. So be a little bit careful about this information. It's more just an indication of how much this um, extension is showing up on your ad, <laughs> right? So if you come in here and you see that this is all zeros, you're probably in one of those industries like a, nat a nationwide service or product where a location extension isn't as relevant and so you know it may never show up in the end so let's say you're here and you don't see anything in here everything's blank you would need to actually go in and set up your location extension and i'm actually going to show this to you in an account that does not have this set up yet but it should look blank like this and then you're going to click this plus button right here and then you should see a screen that looks somewhat like this, where it's asking to it's asking you to select the business profile. And essentially, the way this works is whatever email account you're signed in with on Google Ads, if it's the same email that's associated with your Google business profile, which is this listing we were looking at before, then it's really easy. It's just going to 
detect that those emails are the same and it's just going to allow you to, to automatically connect the two. And that's through the link to a business manager account that I own. So as long as you have access to the Google business profile and it's connected to the same email as your Google ads account, then you can easily connect the two here. If it's not on the same email, just go add that email as a user in the account and then you'll be able to connect it. So from here, you just click continue, which is then going to pop open a window and show you the different businesses that you're going to connect. This is just an example, so I not, wouldn't necessarily always connect five locations. But from here, you just click finish, and then you should see it pop up with the actual business connected here. And you'll see, you'll start to see it showing up on your ads in the search results. And then over time, as it's showing up on your ads, getting some clicks and conversions and all that stuff, that's when you'll start to see all this data begin to populate in here. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads locations extensions or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.